All right, so this haircut, we're going to pretty much cut the same exact style haircut he has, but it's going to be a fade. It's going to be a bald fade. And uh, real easy, I'm balding it out with the T outliner. It's going to follow up with the shaver, the same old, same old. Um, but I want to explain some things throughout this haircut to kind of give you kind of like the mindset behind it all. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, you put out your, you put your initial guideline, like right here. I put on my number three guard and I'm setting my foundation, but you can see I'm blending right into the top. It doesn't matter what hand length it is, but using the shape of the head, you can see that I can come right off the head and not create any lines. So the great thing about this hands-on course, you'll see people coming in, you'll see different hands, you'll see me holding people's um, hands and kind of kind of giving them the technique and what it's supposed to feel like because it's one thing to see it on the screen and then try to emulate it it's another to see and feel it and then try to emulate it right um so you can follow along with the with the guards um i'm blending down so i just finished with a number two guard and now i got the one guard so you can follow along with the color code in the bottom left corner and of course we're blending down so this is like this was like an hour haircut me explaining it for an hour going into detail and with youtube trying to make it into a 14 minute video <laughs> you, you know so okay that was that side um and and it's not done we we definitely we're going through all the steps and stuff and we go back in detail because i'd like to explain you know pretty much how i detail what the strategy is behind it right like you got to make darker areas look lighter right so like he has a lot of indents in his head this was not an easy haircut this is a difficult canvas you guys know on my videos i don't pick and choose the perfect canvas i try to give any canvas the best possible haircut for them that i can create and part of that is when there's indents in the head and it looks dark or when things are inconsistent, trying to make them more consistent by being creative, by by problem solving. So um, we're doing the same steps on the other side. And what I'm not doing is I'm not gonna shave, you know, a number two all the way up to his parietal ridge. I'm not doing that. I wanted to have some silhouette, his haircut. So. I did, I did this haircut in Chicago. So it, it looks super dark in this video just because the, the lighting isn't what it typically is. So like when I record in the barbershop, there's the, I have a window and it's just a bunch of um, you know natural lighting coming in. So it helps the camera with low light. Um, whereas you can see here, it's really dark, like every, the colors are kind of off, but nonetheless, man, it's all about education. So if I can give you guys any information off of this, then, then it's still worth, uh, releasing. And you see the blend is coming together little by little. At this point, again, we're just detailing. When I do beers, I can usually I can skip right through the half guard and just blend it right in. All right, so here I'm talking about like how short it is on the front compared to the back. So I'm using the front as my guideline, and I'm gonna cut that straight all the way through. And then I want to keep it squared looking, so. I'm not gonna keep cutting it rounded. And then that's my guideline all the way through. So it doesn't matter if you wanna comb from over direct from the front and cut to the back, or you wanna do from the back to the front, you know where your guideline is and stay consistent with that. Take small partings, and you'll be safe, you'll be fine. So what I would suggest to this particular client is quite simple. I, I would tell him, Hey, we're, we're, we, 
we need to get the structure of your haircut in check before I can give you the type of haircut I want to give you. Like, I can't blend up too high around the calic area. I can't, you know what I mean? There's, there's some things that we're going to have to let grow before we really start giving you the haircut that you want. So, with that being said, you know, he he might not like the first time I cut his hair, but at least he'll try me out for the next two or three until we can get the actual uh, final look that we're trying to achieve. And I think if you sound informative, if you sound like you know what you're saying, then then it'll work, right? You'll lock that person in. And right here, I'm just kind of explaining how to point cut and stuff. Because people don't don't a lot of people don't know that that scissors have steel blades, right? And it's it's that steel blade protects it, it stops the the moving blade from overlapping so you, you're not going to cut yourself it's always fun teaching people scissors because, you know, the fact that but for the longest time, American barbers didn't care nothing about scissors. Everything's clipped over comb. Um, I think people are starting to get more versatile and diverse with their, with their skill sets. So it's dope to see so many people that are anxious to get better with scissors. And the calc area is very uneven, um, so I'm just softening it up. I'm not taking length, because I'm, I'm just hoping that it'll grow back um, pretty soon. I don't want to take too much length off. By cutting straight in, I'm just softening, softening it up. All right, and now we'll start doing some scissor over curl. So add some graduation to the haircut. Right here, I believe I'm using Sandvia uh, shears, seven inch shears, but the 245 scissors are out now. The six inch 245 scissors are out, and that's all I've been rocking with lately. I gave the seven inch um, shears to my wife because she likes seven, seven inch shears. She doesn't really like the small, the smaller scissors, which is weird. But. Alright, so there we use the blow dryer to kind of separate, um, you know, where his natural parting is, because that's a natural parting. So we're not, so you see where his natural parting is. One thing that barbers, especially in the States, love doing is just bringing the number two up, all the way up there to that parting. And you just completely crush the shape of the, and the structure or the silhouette of this man's haircut and how it fits his head For me, I just I try to keep the bottom line symmetrical to the jawline, and then from there, the top line I try to keep symmetrical with the bottom line. I don't want one line, you know, more of a diagonal shape, and, and the bottom line, the bottom neckline, more of a, uh, a you know a straight line across, because then it just it looks off, right? So.
Usually I use a guard, but I got lazy and I just did some trimmer over comb. Right, now we're using Tomb 45 Shave Gel with Tomb 45 dual, Triple Cartridge uh, Razor. And we're just shaping the beard. And you can see the difference that a razor makes on the beard. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. If you notice, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll turn his, I'll, you know, kind of pull his head back and and make sure that I'm going against the grain. So like right here, his his uh, hairline is going upwards. So by going downwards with the razor, that's against the grain. And typically I would recline my client back. This is the part where my clients fall asleep. So I'd recline them back in the barber chair and uh, make them comfortable. And it's, it's part of the experience, right? And look at the difference the razor makes. It's like night and day. This brings your haircut to a whole nother level. At least I think so. So here we're putting a little bit of product in there. And uh, what we're using, what I've been using the whole tour is all of Tomb 45's future products. That'll be coming out real soon, so look out for that announcement. There's some, some um, detailing I need to do in the back that I noticed. Because when I do these tutorials, I don't really have a mirror. But when I do these classes, I don't have a mirror. So um, I use the camera and now I'm just touching some stuff up that you may have seen. Um, I'm, just, I'm just cleaning it all up. I'm fixing it. So. And there it is. There's the finished product. Nick Blurry. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, man. I hope you guys learned something. Um, definitely hit the like button comment below. Let me know what you think and uh, Like always guys, I appreciate y'all more than y'all know man. So see you guys in the next video Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Mark Balimos uh, Checking in from Chris Basio's Look and Learn and Hands-On class This was a very tense day. It started from 9 a.m. And then at 9 in the night uh, We went over various techniques and different structures that I really added to my game back home. But uh, what really impressed me was when he gave me that phone call and really inquired about the things that I needed him to focus on in the class, which means that he tailored the class to every individual's needs, which is something I've never seen an educator do before. Um, I believe this class is for everybody, whether you've been studying the game for two months and never did a fade before, or you're just an experienced barber, over five years and just looking to add that one trick to the bag which will take you to the next level. I just want to thank you Chris for dropping them nuggets and I'll see you again in the future man.